Hi, it's Brenda. Welcome back. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, sun is shining today. It's not as cold as it has been. So, which is really nice because I don't, I'm not a fan of the freezing cold weather. Today, I thought we would um, do another uh, using up our paper pad. This is the 8x8 paper pad. It's a, a Christmas one. And I meant to have the name of it handy. Boy, oh boy. Starting off on a good foot, eh? But it's by Stamperia. It's a very old uh, paper set. And I thought we could do uh, uh, like a concertina journal. These are pages that I just put together. I had to figure out how to, which sides that I had wanted to. But they are inspired by a few people. Um, Antonio Makes has done them on his channel. Uh, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah did them on hers. And also, it was just about a year ago. And also um, Natasha at Treasure Books. She's done it as well. So I left three. I have oh, six all together. I thought that would be a really nice um, size. So I'll show you I'll show you the process of doing it and then the nice thing about these is, is you can dress them any way you want. You can embellish them as much as you want, fill them in as much as you want. So I'm just gonna So the backs, well the backs are, you know, they're all double-sided, which is is nice. You don't have to have double-sided. So whatever you want to be on the top is where you're going to have your paper facing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the corner and I'm just going to align it with the other corner. Just like that. And burnish it. And then you're left with this where you have your your um, score mark there. So I'm going to, you can either measure and put a pencil mark where the center of your page is, but I am just going to take the opposite corner and line it. And then without bending, I'm just gonna put a little squeeze mark there and then I'll mark it with the pencil. And it just shows me this is the center right there. All right, and then so each of these corners you're going to bring into that center mark. Just don't go over your fold line. And then you can burnish or wait until you're done. So I'm just going to go around the page. And this is just another way to use up your paper packs and to make something pretty. So each corner I'm going to bring in and do my best anyway. Just like that. And then the last side, like it looks like an envelope, doesn't it? So if you have that in your mind, then you know the kind of shape that you're going for. And they don't have to be perfect. Like mine definitely are not perfect. So when you open it up, our center score line is here. So that's what you're going to have at the top. I think. Hang on. Yeah, there my paper was just upside down. So that's what's going to be in. So this is your fold line. And then these do not have a center fold line. So when you fold it back, you're going to have this. So this is what it's going to look like. And then you have your centerpiece like that. And then you're, because essentially they are going to get glued 
to the flaps here like this so they'll get they'll get glued together and then they'll be attached to each other and it'll be like an, an accordion so let's do it again I have a couple sheets left and now this one is quite hard which side am I going to pick sorry I'm just gonna grab take my sweater off I've been pretty chilly so so I think well we'll just have to do it that way and just do it to the corner again I don't want to do it too fast I want you to be able to follow along so like that and so there's your fold so I'm going to take it up opposite of your score line and just gonna oops that's the same one <laughs> no it was right oh my see I confuse myself as well and then just put a little squeeze and then you can see your your little centerpiece so it's gonna be right there and so all the corners will be going to that center point but this paper is so gorgeous it's not going to take much embellishing to uh, do anything else with it but you can decorate them any way you want you can just fill the pockets with um, ephemera pieces and mail it off in flat mail oh, that would be wonderful to send all right so then we have our center line which will be the top and bottom and then when you fold it back this is what you have so it'll, it'll look like this and then you have your top your pockets up and down just like that so let's do one more if you have any questions or if you're if you're confused about something please please let me know all right and this is eight by eight paper you can do this any size if you'd like to make um, little guys six by six oh that'd be really cute 12 by 12 I mean you can cut your paper nine by nine ten by ten as long as it's a square is essentially um, what you're what you're wanting to go for so I'm gonna take the corner up to the other corner just like that so then you have this so then you're gonna do it the opposite corner but instead of making it flush or um, making the score you just want to make a little point and that's my that'll be my center I mean you can you can put your ruler here and mark your center too if you'd like I mean that's okay it, it does the same thing I just tried it with the ruler and I prefer just to do it this way with the little pinch of the center I was doing some other stuff today but I I tried my hand at um, doing some paper weaving yeah my hand was not impressed with doing that so I just started gluing paper down like st paper strips down to my paper so that worked a lot better for me all right so there we have this and you see our center line so that's going to be facing up that's where our, our center score line is right yes <laughs> So then it's going to be like that and then you'll fold it back and we just lost sight of that little girl so that's too bad but that's okay and so then you have this so then what we'll do is we will glue these pages together like that 
and you just decide which one you want to have as your front. And I think I'd like to have the Santa as the first page. So I'm going to grab a glue stick. You can use whatever glue you want. I just thought I'd grab the glue stick and I can use that. And look, I even have myself a glue book so I can add my glue. All right, so I'm just going to add the glue to the flap, the back side of the flap, because the two of them will be getting glued together, right? Just like that. And so I'm going to just take this one with the bird, and I'm just going to line them up together. Hopefully you're seeing that. Get these flaps out of the way for a second here. So I'm just going to line them up and and then you just make them even like a glue stick will allow you a few minutes to line them up just like that and I'll just use this to make sure that they're together. All right. Fold in your flaps, but that's our first one, just like that. So let me see here. See, I have to do it myself as well. So then we have our first two attached, and that'll be that's the center where they are glued, just like that. Okay, let's grab a couple more, and then you just grab them to the ends. But I think I'm gonna. I'm going to glue two at a time and then uh, attach them. So I have this one. Oh, it's just a shame I that little girl's going to be covered. But, yeah, what do you do? It's okay. So I'll just grab another one. Put glue there. There we go. Do you have plans for the weekend? How's your weather? Like I say, it's not too bad here right now. But, uh, there we go, just make them even, as even as you can. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. And then I'm just going to burnish it down. Just like that. So this is what takes their time, right? Doing the, doing the, um, the folding and the gluing. And then there's another two. So that when this, you can just bring in your other two. And then I'm going to glue these these ones together just like that and you just carry on and you can do as many pages as you want there, there's no set amount I'm just doing six because that's the amount that I had uh, left in my paper pack it was just the six of them and then I had some uh, embellishment pages so an eight by eight for me is a is a nice size to play with and every pocket can be filled with uh with goodness all right here we go so i'm just going to attach these two try to line them up but sometimes it doesn't matter they'll be a little off anyway and if your flaps are off like my flaps are off a bit from each other but again it's okay there we go so attach those Whew, it's getting longer and then look, it's getting full. I just have two more pages. And then you can have a cover for it if you want. So let me just set that there for a minute. What was the back? Okay. All right, so I'm just going to add this one here. Just like that. See, you see how 
easy it is how quick it goes like it's just just glue your flaps and and go and then the decoration starts which is all the fun all right let's get this one attached Yeah, I didn't want to use my, um, my, not the tacky glue so much as the, um, glitter glue because it, gri it dries so fast that you don't even have a chance really to move anything around. So it's good to have something that you can maneuver before it dries. And this is our last sheet. And again, we're just glue it on there and I'll just use the one that's by itself put the glue on it make sure it's right at the edges as well you want to make sure you get your corner just move my book and here we go and then the fun starts right all the decorating that's the fun part that all right oh it's a little crooked uh, oh I actually was able to move it a bit all right well that'll work okay so let's close it up can I close it up yes it's very long and that's just six sheets. So that's pretty good. And there's, there's our book. I'm just gonna burnish them down as while they are together. There we go. And look at that. Holy macaronis. So the tops, like, um, what I'd like to do is put a dot of glue in the corners on some of them because I want, I want access to all the sides, you know, and then if I want to add, um, let's, let me find something here. Like this, I'm going to make it into a little journal, but if it can fit in, like this will be thin enough. Like you want some, you want to have a place where things can fit in. Or I, I don't know if we can leave that all the way open. You see what I mean? Because it'll just, they'll just end up opening. And I, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to add a glue just to the tips and that'll just hold it in place and then it'll leave the rest open the rest of the pocket got stuck to my fingers from the glue stick oh. there was some glue there so I kind of had that one stick to it but then it then it sticks which is really nice. And then you have a flap here and you can add, you can add a card to it. You can put um, paper clips, like altered paper clips on there. There's no limit to uh, what you can do with, with these. And if you can think of something else to do, like other than gluing the corners and stuff like that, just leave a comment and I'm always happy to receive suggestions on doing different things. As you know, I, I enjoy the, all of that. I'm folding it as I go. And then, uh, so I'm not off camera with anything. And I'm just putting like a tiny dot of glue if it doesn't hold it well it should hold once it's dry this tacky glue it seems to take um, a few minutes to dry so to 
just like that. And then you have your flap, just like that. And then we'll go to this one. And what's nice when you have it folded, then it will help it to adhere to the um, page as well. You can lace it up. You can do so many things. There we are. It's kind of it's kind of wonky that one, but that's okay. And there's our flap. Close it up. I have a little bit of space there, but I'm okay with space. It's all good. I'll show you the paper that I had made earlier. I did post it to. Um, Oh, what did I post it to? I posted it to Antonio Makes. So once he okays it, then it'll be on there. And it's also on uh, Caroline's Craft Tree. And I haven't put it on Junk Journals Canada yet. And there's our flap. So we'll pop that in. And then our last one. I'll get that one done. Little dot of glue. But these are so fun. And this paper, well, the paper is beautiful. So it's not, like I say, it's not going to take much to uh, improve upon it. Just a few embellishments and stuff. And, and there we go. Now, I didn't think on doing a cover for it at all but I suppose you could if you wanted to let me get that out let me see get an eight by eight piece of paper if I have one just just so I can show you I'm just gonna cut this down and this paper doesn't go with what I have here, but so eight by eight. And so some of the folds are gibbled in it because I was practicing with it, but um. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you like I haven't figured out a a cover or anything yet, but that's the back. <laughs> it totally flipped around. So what you could do is um have like a piece of paper or cardstock initial like really that you cut to the height. And you could slip in the point of it and have it as a cover so that when it, it'll have a, a photo or a blank cover on it like that. And you can do the same for the back. You can use a chipboard, a cardboard like that board that comes off your um, paper packs at the back there. That would be good too. But for now... I'm not going to do a cover, so this this piece will stay blank in case I change my mind, right? Because we change our minds and that's allowed. So I have my pouch. I think I can, let me just see if we can just decorate a page or so together. If that's all right, I have my pouch here of all my Christmas embellishments. So let's just let's just get into it. So this is a center page and then you have your flap. So you can you can glue this down at the corner and have a corner and a tuck spot like here. And then you can do up here and down here or leave it loose and then you can add 
uh, embellishments like you can make um, a Christmas cluster here or you can alter your paper clips and you can have them you can have one hanging on it like this and have have an image on the front I mean I may do a few ideas like we won't deck obviously it'll take too long to decorate the whole thing today but um I just thought if we could do a couple things together I that would be awesome and then you could kind of get an idea of what to do so and then when you add things you just glue it at the bottom right you don't glue at the top just like that so I'm I think I'm gonna add that right there I just think that's cute and it has all the Christmas colors on it I don't know if that's Sorry, I just wondered if that was a sticker, but I don't think it is. So I'm just gonna add glue to the bottom and a little ways up because we don't want to um, glue anywhere where the pocket is. And then I'm just gonna add it right there, just like that. Oh, I did add a bit of glue to the bottom, so I'll just take it off. There we go, and it's just a Christmas tree, and it's not gonna interfere with the fold, which is good, you don't want that to happen, right? And then, these are little things just from the kit, I just cut them out, not the Christmas tree, sorry. But there's just little pieces of ephemera And then we have, we have this little beauty. And you can stamp a date on it. You can uh, put it here and have it as a to and from, something like that, you know. But both sides are, have a, the same picture on there. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just going to add it like that. I don't want glue there. Just stick some glue on. I didn't ink anything on here. I just, I thought it's, uh, a lot of the edges are darkened already just by the paper itself. So, <clears throat> excuse me. And it's as simple as that. And then you can use that as an up tuck. Right, and then we have a Santa here. I'll just put that in there. And the same thing with these pockets. These are some of the trees that I had cut out with my paper that I made. But um, some little tickets. I mean, that'll go, I'll just sit it right there. But it's so easy. Like this paper just lends itself to beauty already. So you don't really have a lot of work to do. And I have, this was a sticker, but it came off of its thing and it just says decorations on it. So let's use that. But you can see how easy this is and how how much paper you can get rid of. It doesn't have to be Christmas, obviously, right? It can be any, oh, any kind of paper, any theme, if you go for themes. I don't mind themes. Like I like doing, um, I like doing things for people with their birthdays and stuff like that. That's a load of fun doing that. But Christmas tree, oh, might be a little too wide because of the, big bottom but I have these little tickets and they can go in and this might all change anyway because really I'm I'm showing you some ideas on uh, on what we can do for these pockets right so just put her in there and then you just go from there and you just 
decorate, decorate, and decorate, and um, and you're done. I mean, how gorgeous is that? I mean, and there's so much that you can do. Like there's this little deer, he could just sit, you know, but because I might, I'll see about doing a cover and then I can come back and show you what that's like as well, right? But I mean, you can pop the deer there and stuff can be tucked in behind it. Why not? Or this house, the house is there. You can do the same thing on any page or you can just put them into a tuck. But I have them, so I think I'm going to use them. You can just have a Merry Christmas here, you know, anywhere on here can just be just be added and then you still have all your tuck areas for your goodies so what do you think of that I hope you enjoyed that I hope you crafted along just just grab whatever size paper you want like I say as long as it's a square then you can you can create this and yeah, so this is what we have today. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you were able to craft along. And uh, any questions, leave me a comment. Uh, anything you didn't understand, please leave me a comment. I'm more than happy to uh, get a hold of you and um, have a chat. Thanks for everyone who um, emails me and sends me photos of things they create. I so appreciate that. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and a very blessed weekend. And if you make some of these, just, yeah. If you're on social media, tag me or keep sending me those emails. And if you want to be on my mailing list, don't forget to email me your address and your particulars so that I can get a package out to you because I'm still doing that and I have six envelopes ready to go. They just need homes. <laughs> so you guys all have a very good day. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks for subscribing and liking and sharing my videos. I can't do this without any of you. Thank you to my new subscribers. I hope you find value here and um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Take care. Bye for now. Oh, sorry. I'm back again just for a second. This was the paper strips that I had glued and it was just to a piece of copy paper and I just had strips of uh, Christmas paper that I I just used a glue stick and glued all the papers down and I've already cut three Christmas trees out of it with my paper punch because it was thin enough. And these are the these are what they look like with the trees, but you can use them with any punch, die cuts. I'm going to use uh, some of my Christmas die cuts and um yeah, have some fun with that. Okay. Take care. Bye for now.